<laughs> I wasn't even gonna I wasn't even gonna come on this hit. I'm like <laughs> it's Saturday night. Let me give them five minutes. Let me give them five minutes. I got five minutes, okay? My phone on 20%. I got five minutes. Five minutes. I got five minutes. Five minutes. Bitch, this week, this week, the eclipse is yelling. The eclipse is ah, yelling. <laughs> there has been big, big Leo energy this week. And I know you feel it. I know we going from Capricorn to Aquarius season. But the Leo energy... You all benefited from it this week. You all did. <sighs> I got my wig recolored. I am just ready. February is going to be bananas. Bananas. Um, I'm loving this energy, honestly. Like... I am loving it, all right? Let me block this person talking about crack smoke. Let me block them real quick, my bad. Y'all gotta go. Cause you don't come up and about illegal drugs, bitch. Um, y'all. I'm loving this energy, it's hot, it's spicy, and it's not made for everyone. <laughs> I thought I blocked this person. All right, that that's how you do it. Okay, yo, I like it. And oh my gosh, this new video I am working on. Ah! Ah! I love Aries. What? I love all the fire signs. I love all the water signs. I love all the earth signs. <laughs> I'm not knocking on wood. I'm not sure what this is. But I'm knocking. I'm knocking. I'm not knocking boots. But I'm knocking on this thing. And it's hurting my knuckles. <laughs> Where my Taurus bitches at? Shout out my Taurus bitches. Shout out the Virgos. Shout out the Capricorn. The Capricorn women. The Capricorn men, I could do without, honestly. Please, like, please. I could really do without that shit. I could really do without it. Um, my phone is about to die. I just came on here before it died. Just to check in. Just to see what's up with you guys. Make sure you got your... Jungle Pussy merch, 20% off until Monday in honor of Michelle Obama's birthday and all other awesome Capricorn women. Um, I can't wait to share this new video with you guys. It's going to be like JPTV on a honey. Like, I'm talking about new music video. I'm not talking about new Instagram video, all right? We doing it. We doing it. We doing it. Um, let's talk about. Do I have talking points? Um, Okay, maybe not. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. Guys, I just be feeling so cute. Like, when I'm just in my cozy clothes in the crib, just, like, doing what I gotta do. No makeup. Just, like, 
a little ashy. Like, you know, I don't know. You look, you could moisturize in the morning, but then, like, around here, you get ashy, and I still feel cute. Like, my lips are not 100% moisturized. They 87% moisturized, but I feel mad cute. Like, my elbows are ashy. My knees are decent. And, like, I feel so cute. Like, every time I walk past a mirror and I look at myself, I'm like, damn, bitch, like, this is your vision. Like, you know, like, I am a vision of what I've seen for myself right now. And I'm, I'm grateful for that. Like, I really am. Because there's a lot of distractions out there that will try to, you know, make you feel like you're not who you should be or make you feel like it's something missing. And the only thing missing may be the vision, you know, like, I'd be like, oh, Shayna, you looking like Shayna today. Oh, you looking like that bitch that, I, that you love. Like, you looking like that bitch that you done seen and, like, now you her. Like, you done manifested this what you see in the mirror, bitch. Like, even this outfit. Like, look at this home outfit. So, it's a house dress and then a t-shirt with... My favorite sweater from United Colors of Benetton that I got for $5 when thrifting used to make sense. And I just feel so charging my heart chakra with my special jewel. And I'm loving it. <sighs> I'm loving it. Like, it's really cool. <laughs> Drinking lemon water. There was only like one drop in there. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, like find those little things, those little things to just like about you. Those little things, even if it's like how big your boogers get when you pass like a taco truck like how big your titties look when your period's coming or how smart you feel when you realize your worth you know like those are other things too that you could really love about yourself me, I'm being very, like, superficial with the looks. But aside from being happy with how I look right now, I am happy with the lines I'm drawing. I'm happy with those. I'm happy with those lines. Because far too long, we've left a lot of lines blurred. Not anymore, okay? Not anymore. We're gonna draw more lines this year, okay? With Sharpie markers, paint, even stitch it if you have to. But draw those lines and make them thick, okay? So niggas can't say! They didn't know. Draw those lines. Don't worry about what kind of paint I use. Just know I'm a lefty, okay? I'm a lefty, okay? How do these people get in here? You go. You gotta go. Like, mm mm. mm. Bye. Um, let me give you guys some more, some more good words, some more good vibes. I'm looking at my talking points, seeing if, you know, it's something. Mm. Oh. I have this one. I'm not sure if... I'll just share it anyway. So, <clears throat> be patient with those around you who don't know what to do with you yet. I put yet at the bottom. Like, you see it? 
Be patient with those around you who don't know what to do with you yet. I must have wrote this on a good day. This must have been a real good day. Because now, today, I don't feel like being patient with those people. You know? I don't. I don't feel like it. Um, right now, you know? But they leave us no choice. Because so many of us don't know what to do with each other. We've just never experienced anyone like ourselves. Everything is changing every day. And everyone is winging it. That's something that we all need to admit. Everyone is winging it. From the top to the bottom. Everyone is just winging the fuck out of it. You want to talk about trial and error, bitch? There's a lot of that. There's a lot of winging. There's a lot of just diving in. It's happening. So nobody has this figured out, you know? But I guess I hold, you know, everyone's winging it. Yeah, okay. But I don't know why sometimes I hold, like, everyone to this standard. Like, yes, like, great. Like, I think everyone wants to be great and everyone wants to be better. But that's not true. Some people just want to be chill. I mean, that's fine. But I'm always thinking, like, yes, everyone wants to be great. Everyone is working on themselves. Everyone. And not everybody's doing that. Not everybody has the time or the means to sit there and take care of themselves. I know it sounds like that's a lie, but that's facts. It's a it's a privilege to have time, you know? Time that you could just do whatever you want with. Um, so it's not up to me. It's like I can't, I can no longer hold people to the standards that I, because I, I told you guys this, like when I'm on my phone, I, my feed is, like, very beautiful. Like, my friends and the people I follow, like, we have this. It seems like we're moving in the right direction in the world. But that's not, you know, reality. So, I get a little disappointed. But, it's okay. That's okay. I just need to lower my expectations of others or not lower them, but just don't raise them. Just leave them. Just have no expectations. Just leave my expectations of others alone. Like just leave that alone. And in the meantime, like I could raise my standards. I can have my own expectations of myself, but it's, I can't project that onto anyone else, you know? It's not my place. This year, I am just trying to surrender. I'm just trying to just let go of literally all the things I cannot control, which is 90% of the things in life. Because when I do it day by day, when I take the moments day by day to just be like, I don't have no control over that. I just got to do what I just got to be. I'm just here. I'm a grain of sand. It feels good. It feels real good. <laughs> so I'm like, I need to do this more. I need to um, just let it, let it go. Like, like I said. I want so much control, but when it comes down to it, I never know when my farts are coming. I never know. You see, like, I'm not even going to say why my phone just blacked, but it proves my point. But you know what I do? I do have to say, so when you... All right, guys, you know what? Fine, I'm going to go because obviously this person really wants to FaceTime with me all of a sudden. Like, lucky me, I guess.